Hello and welcome to Avorian Build Guide for Beginners Part 3. There's a couple of things I'm hoping to cross off the list today in the build guide and one of them is integrity fields and the other is torpedoes and how they work in the game. So um, that should give us enough time to squeeze both of these topics into um, today's discussion. So when we talk about integrity fields, what exactly are integrity field generators and what do they do? Basically, by putting integrity fields down on your ship, you make your ship probably, I think it's about 10 times harder to destroy. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it doesn't add HP to your ships, but it just means it takes a lot more to destroy your ship. So your ship basically holds together a lot better um, if you run into asteroids <laughs> or ships or um, other things that you might collide into or um, uh, weapon damage. So um, another thing to take into note also is when you place integrity field uh, generators down, um, if, the, if the field in which it covers as you can see on the ship it's fully blue light blue which means that my integrity fields on the ship is completely covered if you were to put an integrity field on your ship and it partly covers another block or touches another block it comes under the integrity field um, being under that structure of uh, making it 10 times stronger so you don't actually have to cover the block completely next to it if, as long as it touches, it, it will automatically come fall under that calculation that it would make it 10 times stronger. So, um, they are a must in this game. You, you really need to be putting integrity fields down on your ship. Um, you will notice it if you do not. If you don't, um, you will run into asteroids or um, have collision damage and you'll notice that your ship just is not as strong as it should be. Integrity fields is another great way of saying that it's extra armor without the downsides to it. So um, integrity fields kind of act like armor without, but don't a actually add any health or HP to your ship if that makes any sense. So um, yeah, so integrity fields, yes, you need them on your ship. And yes, you need to make sure that you cover your whole ship in with integrity field and um, yeah so remember um, remember to always make sure that you place them in all your ships when you're designing them so that's integrity fields um, in a nutshell basically um, yeah so that's all I have to say on integrity fields so I thought um, we might have a look at torpedoes next and how they operate in the game. Um, when I first played the game, torpedoes hadn't been introduced in the game. So since I've come back, it's something um, new for me as well to get to know and work out where to use them. <laughs> so um, I think they're pretty cool. I, I like the new aspect into the game. So I suppose as a new player you're probably wondering how they operate, um, what, what can I do with them and that sort of things and what sort of role, combat role should I be using them in. And they're all great questions and if you can tell me how to do that, um, that'd be great. <laughs> but um, as to um, placing what you need um, for torpedoes, um, I can tell you that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what you need um, for torpedoes to work uh, you need torpedo storages so there'll be blocks like this um, so if you build up bring up your build menu, menu. Um, we'll look at nanite so there's a torpedo block and it's called a, a nanite torpedo storage block uh, so basically you put these blocks down and this is what basically houses your torpedoes the bigger the block size uh, means the more capacity you can hold torpedoes so you want um, decent storage on these because you need to pick them up you need to buy torpedoes in this game you can't manufacture them so it is a consumable uh, the other block so the bigger the bigger the storage the better um, 
and the other block you'll need is a nanite torpedo launcher so you basically need a launcher um, so when you lay this block down so if I was to bring out my torpedo launchers on this ship um, as you can see um, there's an arrow that comes out um, so when you lay the blocks down these you need to make sure that the torpedo launcher is um, that it's going it, the torpedoes are going to come out and fire in that direction so when you're laying these blocks down you need to you can you can put them on the side if you like underneath your ship um, wherever you feel like um, on this particular ship I've put uh, four launchers on the front of my ship uh, just so I can see them launch I thought it'd be pretty cool like a bit of a um, I don't know like a submarine how they launch torpedoes so um, out, out of the water oh well, they're more like missiles but anyway so where can I get torpedoes so the earliest in the game that you'll be able to get torpedoes is, is at the nanite level so once you get to nanite you're going to be able to visit another faction if you're friendly with them and you'll be able to buy them at the equipment dock so uh, I happen to be parked up at an equipment dock right now and so I'll be able to show you exactly what it is it'll look for so we're at an equipment dock if we were to push F and we were to select uh, trade equipment we can see all the torpedoes that are up for purchase so you can purchase different varieties of torpedoes each of them maneuverability speed some do more damage to hull and some do more damage to um, shields um, others are nuclear wide variety of torpedoes you can choose from once you've once you've purchased them if you were to push p on the keyboards it will put us into our uh, ship we select torpedoes so you got all the top um, tabs over here we select torpedoes and as you can see um, at the moment I have I have I have a lot of torpedoes loaded at the moment um, so how do we load these torpedoes so I've just unloaded one of my tubes tube one of my torpedoes so what we do is we hover over and then we will push uh, one on the keyboard which is um, and if we hop push one um, wow should have worked so if we were to push one um, it will load our torpedo tubes you can see that it just loaded on we, we want to load um, these torpedoes we will just push um, two and I'll load those torpedo tubes in three and four so that's how we load our torpedo tubes is by selecting one two three or four or how many uh, uh, launches you have the next thing you'll need to do uh, when it comes to torpedoes is you need to assign them so you'll need to assign them um, numbers um, one two three four five whatever it is on your keyboard that you've got assigned um, for torpedoes so at the moment I've got two tubes that are assigned um, to launch two torpedoes at a time and the other two um, uh, five and five another two to launch to another two at a time so the other thing I wanted to sort of talk about um, also is point defenses because this will sort of roll into the same sort of topic um, point defenses are quite crucial you need them on your ship uh, when facing other enemies they're going to have point defenses so be mindful when you're firing torpedoes that you may come across ships in the game that are able to counter your torpedoes so you need to just be mindful that you don't basically throw money down the drain by just spamming torpedoes because it's going to cost you it does cost money to load them uh, point defenses um, I, I recommend that you spread out your point defenses and put them in places on your ship that have the high ground on your ship and or uh, are spread out enough to to be able to counter no matter what direction they're coming into so I've got a point defense I've got two point defenses underneath the ship and I've got a couple on top and I've got I've got another 
Oh no, that's a laser. So these are fighter point defences, but these are point defences for missiles, essentially. Uh, torpedoes. So have have to point defences on your ship. You're going to face torpedoes in the game. You're going to face enemies spamming them to you. So make sure you uh, you've got your point defences set up and ready to go. And that should give you a protection bubble. One thing to note about point defences. If you're moving your ship around and doing barrel rolls and whatnot, your point defences won't be able to keep up um, with trying to take down torpedoes and incoming fire. So just be mindful that it might be better to stay stationary for a little bit before you decide to do a barrel roll, just to try and take care of the torpedo that's coming at you. You can avoid them by um, boosting and manoeuvring. Um, that's one thing also that you may need want to take into account if uh, you don't have point defences at some point in the game for some reason. But um, yeah, so that's torpedoes. Um, hopefully this has been helpful, this video, and I haven't bored you too much about it. Um, thank you for listening, and um, yeah, have a great day.